Hey guys, this is your chest writer for CAF, and today we're going to be talking about the 2021 to 2022 winter weather outlook that I have made for this coming winter. Um, winter is coming up relatively quickly. It's getting closer and closer to December. And before I get into this, I have to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Let's get right into this. This is my winter 2021 to 2022 temperature outlook. You can see various colors. I'll explain them. First of all, with the basics, anywhere that does not have any kind of color is expected to have equal chances for below or above average temperatures. And we'll start in the north here with that being said. The lightest blue shade you see here uh, is likely going to be slightly below average in terms of temperature, which could be a couple degrees below average than it usually is during the winter season. And the darker blue shade up here and from the northwest into portions of north central United States is going to be moderately below average, where it could be a couple to a few degrees below average in terms of temperatures. This yellow you see here going from Southern California into the Great Lakes is slightly above average temperatures this winter, where you could see a couple degrees above average in terms of temperatures. Um, now that doesn't mean there won't be any snow, that just means it will be slightly warmer than usual, but still plenty of snow. And the orange you see here going across much of the United States from the Northeast into the Southwest is moderately above average temperatures, where you could see a couple to a few degrees above average. And this red you see here along the Gulf Coast from Florida to the southeastern coast of Texas is significantly above average temperatures, where it will be a lot warmer than it usually is in winter. It is already usually pretty warm down there during the winter months compared to some of our northern states. But this season, this winter season, it'll be much hotter than it normally is. Let's move on to precipitation. This is by 2021 to 2022 winter precipitation outlook you can see various colors again anywhere that does not have a color is expected to have equal chances for above and below average before my forecast used to include it being average but i have changed it it is equal chances in the northwest here going from colorado montana into washington oregon is going to be slightly above average precipitation um, where you could see a couple half inches above average in terms of precipitation. Precipitation includes rain and snow, by the way. Moving into the Great Lakes region, again, that light green, slightly above average. But that darker green going across Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, parts of the coast of Ohio and New York from the Great Lakes, is moderately above average precipitation, where you could see a couple whole inches above average in terms of precipitation, which will likely include mostly snow. Going to the south, we'll just jump right into that darkest brown color from California to Florida, moderately below average in terms of precipitation, where you could see a couple whole inches below average and is expected to be pretty dry this season. Now let's move on to my overall forecast. This is my overall winter 2021-2022 forecast. We'll start with the northwest and move to the northeast. This yellow region in the northwest is expected to be flip-flop, which means above average, below average, above average, below average, just going back and forth between different patterns. This orange region you see here across much of California and southwestern United States is expected to be drier and warmer this winter. The purple you see here in north central United States, there will be occasional Arctic blasts, where you could see quite a few Arctic blasts, which would drop temperatures significantly, potentially below zero at times. Going to this large gray to white region, going across much of the middle of the United States, it will be near average for much of this winter. Going to the south, very dry, like I said earlier, in that darkest brown up back up to the north in the Great Lakes region, there will be plenty of snow to go around this winter, so you won't have to worry about any kind of snow droughts if you live up here. And the red region, you will have your typical nor'easters that occur that could bring blizzard conditions, heavy snow, maybe rain, depending on the temperatures. But yeah, that is my overall winter 2021 forecast.
Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.